pieces, okay? So what we've been given instead, basically we've been given an expression. So we need to uh, use the laws that we had discussed earlier in our classes and then solve this particular uh, problem, okay? So how will we solve it basically instead? So what's the uh, cube of uh, 5? It's 125, right? So 64, it's the cube of 4, right? So what we can do is let's put it in the form of power and then after that we can basically solve it. So we need to use all of the uh, laws that we have talked about like the division laws, the multiplication laws, all of it, okay? So we can write this in the form of power, right? So how do we write the form of power? Is 4 by 5 cube. I can write it in the form of cube because this belongs, this cube belongs to both of them, right? Or otherwise, just to make it easier for you, I can do this 4 cube, 5 cube, right? 4 cube, 5 cube, right? So minus 2 by 3 is outside, right? So after this, 4 by 5, 3 into minus 2 by 3. You can write it in that form because this. Uh, to the power 3 or exponent belongs to both of them, right? So, we can cancel this thing and this thing out. So, what we have left is 4 by 5 minus 2, right? So, if we change the uh, fraction, can this be made into plus 2? We can do that, right? So, 5 by 4 square. I can write it in that form. After this, 25 by 16 since it, belo it belongs to both of them and the square both of the fraction both of them okay so this is how we basically solve this particular question okay so how about this one so what's the cube of 3 it's 27 right so 3 cube into 2 by 3 so 3 and 3 can be done right so what's the cube of 2 2 cube into 1 by 6. So 1 by 2 by 3 to the 6, right? So divide by, or what we can do is basically let's just change it. Let's change the divide into multiplication. How can we do that? Basically, is 1 by, so since there is 1 underneath 18 to the power 1 by 2. So let's just switch it over. So 18, 1 by 2, right? That's your question over there. So after this, what we can basically do is, this will be a 9, right? So 3 square will be 9 into 2 to the power half, right? So in this particular case, let's open this. So let's think about it. So 9 to the 18, right? So 3 square into 2 will be 18 as well, right? So let's try and solve it that way, okay? 3 square into 2, that would be 18, right? So, 2, okay? So, after this, what we can basically do is that 9 into 2, 1 by 2, just bring this to the other side, okay? So, 3 square into 1 by 2, since this belongs to both of them, right? So I can multiply each of them, right? So into 2, 1 by 2, right? So since 2 does not have any exponent, so that's not going to worry. So square and square will be cancelled out. After that, okay, let's not open this as well. 3 square, 3 square, right? So if I take this, 3 to the power 1 to the upper side, it will be minus, right, as per division rule. So, 3 square minus 1 into 2, 1 by 2 into 1 by 2. So, when I'm taking back thing as well, the fraction will be uh, subtracted from the another fraction, right? So, this and this will be cancelled out. It will be 2 to the power 0, right? So, in this case, for 3, it will be 0, right? So in case of 2, 
it will be zero in three's case it will be one okay so three into one is equals to three so anything to the power zero is always one right so we have talked about that earlier on as well so this is how we basically solve the basic problems with basically image phase okay so in exam will be asked a bit tougher ones so we will be looking at that as well but if you have any confusions until now please do comment down below i definitely be happy to answer it for you until next time bye bye